Okay, listen up. I know you've had eight years of higher education, but you've got to learn how to play the game before we set you loose on unsuspecting patients. Don't worry, we'll have you treating and streeting in no time. First off, you need to know how to get around. Left click on any open space in the screen to move there. Go ahead, try it out. Not bad, but that's not the only way to move around. Look at the lower left portion of the screen. You see that flashing map? That's the minimap. Move your mouse pointer over one of the rooms represented in the minimap and notice how the room's name enlarges into view. You can save time maneuvering to any part of the hospital by simply clicking inside the minimap. Click inside exam 2 and I'll meet you there. Yeah, pretty simple stuff, I know. Let's move on to communication. We get a lot of people coming through the ER that are friends or relatives of the injured. These people are obviously preoccupied and won't enter into extended conversations with you. If you want to have a conversation, find a hospital staff member. Look, there's Nurse Kendall. Why don't you right-click on her and choose the Interact Talk With option. Good. The conversation mode menu has popped up. Use it to choose the intimacy level of your conversation. Since you have no prior relationship with Nurse Kendall, start at the most casual level. Left click on weather to start communicating. There you go. Notice Nurse Kendall has responded to you with a deeper communication level. That's a good sign that she's open to a closer relationship. Try sending socialize back to her. Wow, look at that. You're developing a positive relationship with Nurse Kendall. See that ring change color? That's her disposition toward you. That slightly colored circle centered between your feet defines your area of influence. We call it the AOI. You will notice that the nature of your different relationships with people will take effect when they enter your AOI. Not every relationship will be as rosy as this. But that's all part of the fun. You'll see. Meet me in main exam and we'll talk about treatment. More often than not, you'll go to the waiting room where you'll triage and diagnose a patient yourself. Follow me and we'll see what's brewing out there. All right, here's your chance to put your education to work. Left click on that patient to diagnose them. Not bad. That's a pretty good start. Looks like they have a level 2 orthopedic injury. Not too severe. We can take care of that in main exam. Select the move to command. Very good. Now you can choose which room to send the patient to. This menu also shows you how many beds are available in each room. Go ahead and send the patient to a bed in main exam. Now your patient is ready for treatment. Let's go to main exam and take care of it.
A level 2 injury shouldn't be a problem for you. Begin treatment by left-clicking on the patient. Not bad. Did you notice that you were given some practice experience for that treatment? You'll get a chance to spend that in a minute. You also received the gift shop flowers perk. Perks are interesting items that give you additional powers and abilities that will help you treat patients and build relationships. I could probably use this one as a peace offering. Let's go into perk trading mode and I'll give you a good deal for those flowers. You can swap by clicking the right mouse button on me and selecting the interact trade perk option. Give it a try. 